But what killed me is you've wasted so much time giving this kid hope here yeah, that he could play when he wanted to leave. Like, and then on top of that, yeah, you've you folded into public pressure. Like, what's the point in having, yeah? What is the point of having um laws and rules in place and protocol if you're not gonna follow it? This is this is my problem. My main problem with this Greenwood thing is, yeah. Man mm. United have now set precedent now, yeah, that that social media can determine whether a player plays for the club or not. A lawyer. This is a lawyer. This is not my words. Okay. And then he said, yeah, he was suspended by the club, unlike some other players who carried on playing for the club whilst being under police investigation, which is also a fact. Mm. And then charges were dropped. He is in the eyes of the law an innocent man. So should he play again for United for anyone? Because the offences offenses allegedly were an offence of violence against a woman, and that means that there are plenty of people who object to him trying to play again after an 18-month hiatus in his career. And for those against his return, it's an easy case to argue because you can treat it as a single case. And he said, how very simplistic. And he said, yeah, so before you jump to a debate, yeah, think about these things. Would, you answer, would your answer be different if he stood trial and was convicted? United bottling things as usual, do you know what I mean? But at least the saga's over now. At least the Mason Greenwood saga's over now. Do you know what I mean? United have disgraced themselves the way they've handled it, to be completely honest. But at least it's been handled now. Uh, you know what it is? The way we've gone about it, it's a shambles, bro. And it, and it says a lot. It says a lot about the club. It, to be fair, it says a lot about the people upstairs. Mm. But let's be real bro like i'm not surprised in it like when the whole thing started i was like i know united are not going to handle this well and it's a very it's a very sensitive like subject for a lot of people so i was like you know what make sure you do the right thing mm. and the crazy thing is like yo i stand by it like good riddance yeah like homie can bounce but the way i look at it is even the statements like surely as a fan say if you're not even a fan you're just you're a neutral. You're trying to read and see what's happened here. Bro, you go sit down and read those two, three-page statements. They feed you more bull than, than anything else. Like, I read I read them two, three times, and I was like, I'm still baffled. Like, I'm like, what's going on? Like, it's, it's crazy. But, yeah, I'm just happy for it to be over because now we can just move on. Yeah, but the funny thing is the statement they, that Greenwood and United put out today, and when you look at the statement that United put out before, they basically said, listen... We've worked with the police. We've worked with Mason at XYZ. We know what's happened. You man don't know what's happened, in it? Mm. Like, we're going to be doing XYZ. So they basically said, you know what? Like, we know what's happened. We know that man didn't go court. XYZ. We know more than you know, in it, basically. And then they've come out saying, all right, we've been collaborating with the player, with whatever, and we've decided XYZ. That's not what's happened. Do you know what I mean? I know for a fact that's not what's happened. Do you know what I mean? And... The funny thing is with Manchester United, you see when Manchester United try to do this establishment club thing, yeah? And the funny thing is I'm very anti-establishment by nature anyway. That's who I am, in it? Like, I, I can't stand it. And the thing is, United always want to be like the, the holier-than-thou football club. Everything we do is this and that. And it's like, you man have handled this spectacularly wrong. Because the thing is, yeah... Mm -hmm. They were gearing up to bring this kid back because they knew, yeah, one, that the manager wanted him. Two, they knew, yeah, that my man was found not guilty and there was no grounds, really, to get rid of him. That's why they started leaking all these little things out. And then when they saw the amount of pressure that was coming on the club, they chose the club's image, yeah, over doing what they thought was right, in it, And they were always going to do that. But my thing is, yeah, look how much of this guy's time you wasted. If you knew, yeah, that you were going to take into consideration, yeah, public opinion, you should have just said from the jump to Mason, you know what, bro? Like, we know, you get me, we know it's kind of sh We're going to pay you your money. Do you know what I'm saying? We'll put out a joint statement together. You can go to Italy. Because Mason wanted to dip. Mason wanted to dip time ago. Do you know what I'm saying? Mason, I, I have it under very, very good authority. That Mason Greenman was like, yo, I don't want to play in England no more. This is long. Remember, he's walking around with a balaclava and that before. Like, he couldn't even show his face. He didn't want to be here. He didn't want to be here, bruv. The club kept him here under the under the, under the the guise, yeah, that he was going to get another chance to play for the club that he'd been at since he was seven years old. He didn't want to be here, bro. He made his made up his decision that he wanted to leave the country because he couldn't even show his, couldn't even show his face at one point. 
He didn't want to be here. So the fact that the club wasted his time and kept him here for all this time to then change their mind anyway, it's like, bro, like you got, you're spineless. You should have handled it way better. You should have just said to Mason, you know what? We understand your position. We're going to pay you out. Just say that whatever and you can go and enjoy your career somewhere else. But they've wasted a good what? Bro, it's the start of the season now, bro. He's missed the whole preseason. All these other things. There was no court case pending or nothing like that. He's just been waiting around for the club. Like, they've wasted his time, Hajj, because he, he wasn't in court. So he could have been playing football by now. You know, you know what it is? It's the, the investigation they took. They took very long. Now, f fair enough, yeah. Like, at the time, on the outside, I was like, you know what? There must be crazy evidence. Hello, witnesses stepping forward, this and that. I was like, sweet, like, take your time. The thing that just drove me crazy was the fact that with the statement now, they're trying to feed this whole, like, oh, we've got some extra information that we can't speak about, but we know that he's innocent. Yeah, so the they, they, there is new it, evidence, yeah. Yeah, hmm. there was new evidence that came forward, and that's what they said. They said that new evidence has been brought forward, X, Y, Z, they know stuff. Obviously... Because of how things are legally, they can't disclose names, they can't disclose people, they can't really tell us what they know. But the club have new information, and so do the courts. That's why I got thrown out. So, do you know the what way, I mean? It's, it's, it's a joke. The way I look at it is, is the initial statement that they put out last week. I read it, mm -hmm. and then one of the points was, they were like, like, at the end of the day, as an institution, as a club, it's our duty. And they started doing this whole, like, he's an academy player, he's been here since mm -hmm. the age of seven, this and that. They were like, yeah. it's our duty to clear his name. And we're going to stand by him and do whatever we can. I never knew about this whole like oh, extra piece of evidence which shows that he was innocent. Now, I'll be real personally, I don't even buy that stuff. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, sweet, like, someone's going to have to sit down. Me, as a person, I want somebody to explain to me the photos and the videos. Because I'm thinking, like, what is it? Does, does Greenwood have a twin? And he, he done this madness. But it's the fact that now they're coming out saying we've got evidence. But just a week ago, you said you wanted to clear his name. If United wanted to clear his name, in my opinion, they can. Yeah, but they can't though, Hatch. You understand? Because you got to understand yeah, that these guys care more about their PR than right and wrong, bro. They don't care. Do you know what I mean? It's more about what it looks like. It's not about what it is. Yeah, And that's what it's always been. Man United's always been about PR. We literally, we literally hired someone to run our PR team, bro. Manchester mm. United do not care about morals, blood, right or wrong. They don't care about that. They care about what it looks like, bro. Do you understand? So because of that, yeah, you can't trust them to do nothing. But what killed me is you've wasted so much time giving this kid hope here yeah, that he could play when he wanted to leave. Like... And then on top of that, yeah, you've you folded into public pressure. Like, what's the point in having, yeah? What is the point of having um, laws and rules in place and protocol if you're not going to follow it? This is this is my problem. My main problem with this Greenwood thing is, yeah, Man mm. United have now set precedent now, yeah, that that social media can determine whether a player plays for the club or not, because that's what they've done. But I think it's because when the whole thing started, it started on social media. Like, I, I'm pretty certain United, well, I still remember the day, it was Sunday. I was walking back from the gym and then my phone was buzzing. I was like, what's going on? I think mm. social media found out before Manchester United found out. So mm. that's where they feel like, yo, like now it's their duty to listen to what the fans online have to say. But no, I agree. They've wasted time. But bro, Man United have done this before. I remember they, it's, it's not really related to, in terms of. But, like, Man United have wasted players' times. Like, we kept Romero here, the goalkeeper. I wanted to leave because we didn't want to let him go. Or I remember I said this a week ago on a stream, and I was like, I know what United are going to do. They're going to make a decision, and then depending mm. on the backlash, they're going to change their minds, and then they're going to flip it and make it sound like, you know what? We care about the fans, and we've taken into consideration what the fan has to say. Prime example is the Super League. I'll go yeah. up to Man United have agreed to the Super League, and United are about to abandon the UCL and this and that. A few men started chanting. A few men went on a protest. Next thing you know, you got Gary Neville and all them men coming out saying, yeah, Man United, they took into consideration what the fans have to say because the fans are the most important people. Out of all the people talking about it online, I would go as far as say maybe less than 10% of people actually know the facts of the case. They know the facts that that what, what he was charged with, mm. what he was charged of, what, they don't know. And that's why in Manchester United's statement, they said that 
They've done extensive research on what's going on here. They've done their investigating. They made it abundantly clear that the general public do not know what has happened. Do you know what I mean? They don't know, innit? Yeah, like they, they know a bit part of the case. That's yeah, it. They, they they said that we know everything that's gone on here and we're dealing with it accordingly. Basically, you man don't know. Because what's going surely on. Man United would have sat them both down, whether collectively or individually, they would have got mm. her in as well. And oh, of course they would have conduct an in investigation. This is a serious matter for Man United Football Club as well as for you guys. Mm. What exactly is going on? They probably had lawyers for both sides in the building at the same time. Mm. Yeah, and blah blah blah. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, people can say what they want. Yeah, the fact and reality is they're still together, bro. So yes, it's got nothing to do with anyone. He hasn't been charged with anything. He hasn't gone to a court case and he's still with the woman and they're engaged and they've just had a baby. The rest is just all waffle and opinions. Yeah, it's irrelevant. If they're happy to be together, that's down to them. Mm. Yeah, we're not paying their bills. Yeah, we're not, we're not tucking them in at night. We're not feeding them. If they want to do that, mm. that's up to them. Whether they've done it, he's done it or not done it, we will never know. Yeah, we will never know. But what we do know is what has been put out there by the media. Yeah, and factually, he has not been charged and gone to a court case for anything. Mm. Yeah, but, but it, this is it. And the thing is, yeah, you look at Mendy on the opposite hand, yeah. This brother went through all of these things just for just to be acquitted of everything, and now he's back playing. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, so he suspended his pay illegally, allegedly. Well, that's but, but there <laughs> you go. Allegedly so, word in there, bro. I don't really count. So they're saying that. <laughs> They're saying, would your would your opinion be different if he did what Mendy did, went to court and then got and then got acquitted? No, mm. because even though Mendy got acquitted, people were still talking rubbish, saying, "Oh yeah, yeah. just because he got acquitted, yeah, don't mean he was innocent, bro." It was like nine charges and he bust all of them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He ain't so busting all nine, are you? And then the rest of them lot were like on the bandwagon, bro. Man, bust case for all of them. Yeah, it's mad. But this is the world we live in, unfortunately, mate. Like. People have got this 10 second TikTok time, um, mental capacity. So they see a little clip or they hear a little clip and that's it. That's it. That's it. It's done. Like, it's, it's just ridiculous, bro. Yeah. But unfortunately, like, because he's a high profile player, yeah, he's an mm. English player. Yeah. And he plays for Manchester United. Yeah. He's going to get, he's going to get a lot of eyes on him. Someone messaged me something today, innit? Because I was having a conversation um, with Matisse yesterday, innit? Um, and I see loads of people in the chat. Like, they don't know how to separate facts from their feelings, innit? And it's funny, yeah? Like, there's a there, there's a geezer that's um, a lawyer, innit? And basically, this guy that messaged me is like a trainee lawyer. And he said, bro, like, I could completely... Um, I could completely relate to what you said because you're breaking it down as if how I would break it down. Because when you're in a court of law, we only care about facts, bruv. We only care about evidence. Yeah. Like, we don't care about how you feel about the situation. We don't care. We don't care who the victim is. Because when you're in a court of law, you can't care about that. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't care about mm. it. Like, a crime is a crime, innit? And the man it sent me something. Did this person do it? Yay, nay, or... Oh, he sent me this year. And like, bro, I read it. He says, there's a lot of talk at the moment about Greenwood and whether he should play football again. And he goes, for those oblivious to the facts, about 18 months ago, a recording was released on social media of a man demanding to have sex with a woman, irrespective of her saying that she didn't want to. And then it says, yeah, Mason, then 20, was arrested and charged with attempted yeah. whatever, ABH and coercive controlling behaviour. No, no one said that he actually did that. Do you know what I'm saying? Firstly, do you know what I mean? So, when people are calling him that word, there's no evidence that he did that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, if I, if Lee, if I threaten to kill you, does that mean I'm guilty of murder if you're still alive? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just no, saying. You're right. You're right. Go on. Carry on, man. You're no, right. no. But car like, let's carry on anyway. Let's carry on anyway. Because this is a lawyer. This is a lawyer. This is not my words. Okay. And then he said, yeah, he was suspended by the club, unlike some other players who carried on playing for the club whilst being under police investigation, which is also a fact. Mm -hmm. And then charges were dropped. He is in the eyes of the law an innocent man. So should he play again for United, for anyone? Because the offences offenses allegedly were an offence of violence against a woman, and that means 
that there are plenty of people who object to him trying to play again after an 18-month hiatus in his career. And for those against his return, it's an easy case to argue because you can treat it as a single case. And he said, how very simplistic. And he said, yeah, so before you jump to a debate, yeah, think about these things. Would you answer? Would your answer be different if he stood trial and was convicted? What if he'd stood trial and had been acquitted? Like Mendy, like Mendy yeah, who's playing football, yeah? What if, yeah, the case was a civil claim for damages, like what happened with Goodwillie? And then he said, what if the evidence is violence against a man, Joey Barton, who went to jail, came back out, played football? Mm. What if what if the offence was drink driving? Too many people to name. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Do you believe in rehabilitation? If not, that's fine. But why not? Do you know what I mean? And he said, basically, it's never, never simple, yeah, if you want to look at the wider picture. And if you don't want to look at the wider picture... Is it because you're incapable of, of doing that and because you don't like being challenged? And this is what it is. Lawyers often see things that others don't because they're exposed to parallel scenarios every day. It's not easy. The facts are, yeah, the facts are when you put your feelings aside, yeah, and all the brainwashing, yeah, that's out here, the facts are there's men out there that have done far worse and are still playing right now, blood. Mate, one place in Barcelona. Used to but that's it. So, so what you're effectively saying is he threatened to do something, yeah? So because he threatened to do something that he didn't actually do, and she admitted that he didn't do that, do you know what I'm saying? You're going to call him that word even though he didn't do that. He, he, didn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't in jail. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, because of a threat that you heard on a voice note, yeah? What? Come on, bruv. Yeah, but, These but, but, fact, are getting but, drunk, but, driving cars and killing people and going back to playing football. 